In 387 years, only two women have been president of Harvard University. One, the first woman was before Claudine Gay, only one black woman has been president. Let's go over to the televised mental institution known as MSNBC, uh, because of course they're blaming I think the gotcha mentality, though, is in fact the point. Let's just be very clear. Mm. The testimony from the president's horrific. So they, they, the horrific, it was absolutely terrible. They answered a human question with an academic answer uh, that they were prepped by their universities, quite frankly, to give. So that's and law all. firms. And terrible, law firms, terrible okay. Staff work terrible here. staff work, all... okay, <laughs> yeah. across the board. But on top of that, what happened in the aftermath of that, particularly as it relates to Dr. Gay, uh, the calls came and said she was terrible in this hearing and she's unqualified. In 387 years, only two women have been president of Harvard University. One, the first woman was before Claudine Gay. Only one black woman has been president. And that black woman now, six months after, uh, has resigned from her job because, in, look at the statement, it's in the best interest of Harvard to resign so the community can navigate with focus on the institution rather than an individual. Harvard decided that it was unweather to, un, unable to continue to weather the storm. And while I don't think the culture wars, frankly, that play out on campus across the country will eventually have a, the biggest effect in general come 2024. What will have an effect, as Doug said, is how Jewish students feel on college campuses, how Arab American students feel on mm -hmm. college campuses, and how every black professional in America can turn on their television today, see this news about Dr. Claudine Gay, and, and all have the same reaction. Mm. It, looks, it, it, it looks as though she was targeted. It's interesting but, stuff. But you, students come term, you said she was horrific, and then we had a series of scandals. She's not, she then targeted herself. Again, she was worse than cockfighters in testifying before Congress. Yeah, I mean, That's I guess a I, low bar. I guess I will just say this, is that, you know, again, 387 years, I, much like when we talked about the classified documents with former presidents and vice presidents, and I have said, you know, there's no protocol in which to pack up a, a president or vice president mm -hmm. leaves office. And I think if you go to any home of a former president or vice president, you might accidentally find a classified document or two. Not necessarily nuclear secrets, but, you know, maybe a piece of paper that they shouldn't have took out. Same thing. Look at all what other presidents of Harvard have been investigated for plagiarism. And if we want to be very specific, which I think we should, they, the, the issues of plagiarism, it is loose citations. Again, not something Sometimes, I would want, I would want to do, but I'm just, all I'm saying Some of it was a citation. Right, right, right. Some I of it was think, I think, pure old-fashioned plagiarism. Think, I, there's so much there. It's like, what do you, what do we even do with this? But it's not plagiarism, guys. It's loose citations. They rewrite history right in front of us in real time. It's extraordinary. Imagine if a kid at Harvard, it doesn't even matter what discipline they were in, hands in a paper, and there's a whole bunch of stuff that they just copied and pasted. They didn't plagiarize it. They just copied and pasted. They borrowed ideas. They loosely this and that. You would be kicked out of school. So she's just resigning and now will be a professor of political science. Of course, of course, political science. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other stuff there. I don't know exactly what uh, uh, Simone Sanders was trying to say about how uh, Jewish and Arab students are now going to feel on those campuses. But the idea that somehow, again, they're going after her because she's black. I have no problem if you if somebody out there. If Simone or any of you people who are always trying to tell us all how racist we are, why don't you guys do some digging? And every white college president who has done the level of plagiarism that uh, Claudine Gay has done should step down or should at least be exposed. And then the school can decide what to do, right? Like, of course, this has nothing to do with racism. And again, Liz McGill, you pen, she already stepped down. But what did I say was the, the theme of the show today? The theme of the show is that when you get these wins, right, when you blow up an absolute fraud and grifter like Cenk Uger, as Douglas Murray did, or you get a win by having the plagiarist, let's say, at least somewhat racist or just deeply stupid because of intersectionality, Claudine Gay have to resign. When you get some of these wins, you gotta keep going. Right? There's an inclination to just take your foot off the pedal and be like, oh, we got a couple wins. You want to have lunch? But you got to keep going because we actually are in a culture war right now.